Hello, my Biblio darlings, and welcome to Bibliothesia. And Bibliothesia is a place and a channel where I bring stories to life through reading them to you and for you. So let me introduce myself. My name is Mally, and the story that we are reading today is called Mr. Wrong. Now, before we read Mr. Wrong, let's remind our bodies that we're feeling safe in the moment right here. And we're going to do it through two exercises. The first is what's known as a deep breathing, 448 deep breathing exercise. And what happens is we inhale deeply for four, we hold the breath for four counts, and then we exhale out for eight counts like we're blowing out wind or birthday candles. And then the second exercise that, that we're going to do is I'm going to read to you some knock-knock jokes and hopefully you will laugh. And the whole purpose of that is when we laugh, it signals our body that we are safe and we feel relaxed when we laugh. So with that, let's do our first deep breathing exercise. And what I'd like you to do is to pretend you have a pretend balloon inside your tummy and I'm pointing down to my tummy. And then with each inhale, your pretend balloon will get bigger and bigger and bigger. So with that, let's do the deep breathing exercise. Let's inhale deeply for one, two, three, four. And now let's hold the breath for mmm, 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 mmm. And now let's exhale out the breath like it's wind or birthday candles. Good job. Does your body feel calmer? Well, I have an invitation for you. For the next 30 days, when you wake up in the morning, do the 448 deep breathing exercise. And then at lunchtime, do it as well. And then just before you go to sleep. And I would encourage you to do it over the next 30 days. And then after the 30 days is up, notice. Is your body feeling calmer? And if it does, comment in the section below. Now the other way that our body can relax some more is by the knock-knock jokes. So I'm going to reach over for my knock-knock joke book and read to you three jokes. And here they go. Or, or here they are. Here's the first joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Bird. Bird who? Bird, I don't want to go to bed. <laughs> but I don't want to go to bed. <laughs> and here's the second one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Leslie. Leslie who? Leslie town now before they catch us. Oh, like let's leave now. Let's leave town now before they catch us. And here's a third joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Swear. Swear who? Swear did you put my yellow socks? Oh, where did you put my yellow socks? Oh, okay. Well, now, hopefully that you've had a chance to breathe deeply and feel calm and hear some funny jokes. I'm going to read to you Mr. Wrong. And looking at the cover, Mr. Wrong is orange. And on one hand, he's got a blue glove. And on the other hand, he's got a yellow glove. And on top of his head, he has a, a flower pot, and there's a white flower. And he's got a black shoe on one foot and a brown shoe on the other foot. So let's see what life for Mr. Wrong is all about. Whatever Mr. Wrong did was absolutely, totally, completely, utterly wrong. However hard he tried, he just couldn't do anything right. Just look at his house. I mean, if we look at his house, it looks like the windows are all wonky and the door's window is on the bottom when it should be on the top. It looks like his chimney is going this way and that way instead of up and down. Wow, that's so interesting. Well, one fine morning, Mr. Wrong woke up. He hadn't slept very well because of the way he'd made his bed the day before. He jumped out of bed, fell over, twice, put on his shoes on the wrong feet, went to the bathroom, flipping over the bath mat, squeezed out some toothpaste onto the wrong side of the toothbrush, brushed his teeth, ouch, <laughs> that would hurt, and went downstairs. Bump, 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 
bump, bump. Oh, that sounds painful. Not a very good start to the day. In fact, his usual wrong start to the day. Oh. In his kitchen, Mr. Wrong poured some milk onto his cornflakes and missed. Oh, look at the sad look on his face. As he sat in his kitchen that fine morning, eating his dry cornflakes, he sighed. Oh dear, he thought, I do so wish that everything I do wasn't quite so absolutely, totally, completely, utterly wrong. Aw, oh, I feel bad for Mr. Wrong. So after breakfast, he went for a walk in order to think about how he could solve his problem. It took him 10 minutes to get out of the house because he kept trying to open his front door outward instead of inward. Oh, poor Mr. Wrong. As he walked along, he passed a worm. Good morning, dog, he said. The worm grinned. He was used to Mr. Wrong. <laughs> okay. He met a postman. Good morning, Mr. Wrong, called the postman cheerfully. Good morning, doctor, <laughs> replied Mr. Wrong. Oh, dear. <laughs> he met old Mrs. Twinkle, who lived down the lane. Good morning, Mr. Wrong, she smiled. Good morning, Mr. Twinkle, replied Mr. Wrong. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> and then he met somebody he'd never met before. Somebody who sort of looked like him, but didn't. Good morning, sir, said that somebody. Good morning, madam, replied Mr. Wrong. I'm Mr. Wrong. I guess that, replied the person. Well, I'm Mr. Right. Now tell me, he went on, why are you walking along looking so miserable? Because, replied Mr. Wrong, I can't do anything right. In which case, said Mr. Wright, we'd better do something about it. Follow me. And off he said, and off said Mr. Wrong, in the opposite direction. Mr. Wright hurried back and turned him around. This way, he said, and they walked together to where Mr. Wright lived. It was a house which somehow looked something like Mr. Wrong's house, but different. Hey, this is what I notice. All the windows are right side up, and the door window is where it needs to be, where, where people can see, and the chimney is up and down. Yeah. Well, Mr. Wright took Mr. Wrong into his living room. I think he said that the only way you are ever going to change is for you to come and live with me for a while and you may end up being not quite so absolutely, totally, completely, utterly wrong about everything. Sit down, he said, and we'll talk about it. Mr. Wrong sat down and missed. Oh, <laughs> poor Mr. Wrong. Mr. Wrong stayed with Mr. Wright for a month, and during that time he changed. After one week, he was slightly less wrong than he had been before. Let's see what happens. After two weeks, he was, he was even more slightly less wrong than he had been before. And after a whole four weeks, he was a changed man. You could hardly tell the difference between him and Mr. Wright. Don't you agree? I do. Mr. Wright was delighted. Told you, he cried. Told you that everything about you might end up being not quite so absolutely, totally, completely, utterly wrong. In fact, he continued, you've really turned out all right. Mr. Wrong blushed. See, there's his blushed cheeks. It was quite the nicest thing anyone had ever said to him in the whole of his life. Aww. And he went home, lived happily and right ever after. Now, you probably think that's the end of the story, don't you? Well, it isn't. And the reason it isn't is because of what happened to Mr. Wright. The trouble was, you see, that the longer Mr. Wrong had stayed with Mr. Wright, and the more right Mr. Wrong became, the more wrong Mr. Wright had become. Isn't that extraordinary? Oh dear, Mr. Wright sighed. My plan didn't quite work out the way I'd planned it after all. And he went to bed in the bath. What do you think of that? It sounds like Mr. Wrong is now Mr. Right and Mr. Right is now Mr. Wrong. Oh, it
it's all so confusing, don't you think? Well, we've come to the end of our time, and I got a little concerned there. One of the best ways for relaxing is doing that deep breathing exercise. So let's do our second deep breathing exercise. Are you ready? Let's inhale deeply for one, two, three, four. And now let's hold the breath for mm, 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 mm. And now let's blow out our breath like we're blowing out birthday candles or wind for And oh, do you feel calmer? Oh, pardon me. I do. Well, I'm hoping you do. And I'm hoping that you take me up on that invitation and do the deep breathing for the next 30 days. And now let's, let's remind our body to relax some more as I share with you three knock knock jokes. Are you ready? Okay. Knock knock. Who's there? Moat. Moat who? Most people don't realize how hard it is to be a kid. <laughs> Get it? Most people? Okay. Let's read the second joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Perk. Perk who? Perk and beans is my favorite food. And here's our last joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Kiwi. Kiwi who? Kiwi, go to the water park, please. Wow. Thank you so much for joining and I hope you feel relaxed and calm. And before we say goodbye, I would like to say thank you for joining and taking part today. And remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Well, it's been wonderful working with you and, uh, and until next time, bye.